in, nice and tight, closing off this space, levering off the off of the hip, and keeping this knee out initially. Right. So the things I need, I need to gain control of the sleeve, and I need uh, <coughs> to find the pommel or my control of my right hand. So preferably it's going to be the pommel. There are other options, but for the basic knee cut, it's slipping in. And I'm doing this all very tight, slipping through. I start to pull the sleeve. I can't chamber here, like to my hip, because he can escape. It's an easy escape for him. I point my elbow up. This is where I'm going to get the maximum um, strength advantage and leverage advantage over this arm. If I pull it here, he can easily chamber and pop his butt up. Head down, slip through. I want everyone catching the foot because nobody ever lets you get that free pass of sliding right through. Uh, more than 90% of the time, you're gonna get your foot caught right here. Head down, my head becomes my base. Kick the top leg, get on your toes. Walk me up. And get the side control. So. Step in, nice and tight, closing up all the space, levering, levering this leg out. It's a slight, slight pressure, not, nothing too much. I gain control of the sleeve. I slip into the pommel. Head comes down. From here, if the guy's really holding on, I'll use my head to twist his back, kick on your toes, gain head control, and on the side control. <clears throat> Stepping in, nice and tight, gaining control, slipping in for my pommel, pointing the elbow up, head down, kick, walk, walk up, good pressure. Entry, my first tier block is going to be inside De La Hiva. Inside De La Hiva, dropping the hook, slaps <coughs> the forward uh, progression of that knee and blocks it completely out. So I'm here chambered, he's coming in, just dropping the hook. Inside De La Hiva hook, I've reached under my leg and I'm playing. This foot, I come to back this foot up, the top of it, and it stops. All forward progression. He can no longer push his knee to the ground. And I'll frame it cross neck. Cross neck. Over here. He makes entry. Go inside Deli Hiva. Over here I have distance control. If he's trying to move away, I control with my legs. I push in and out. Push in and out. Inside Deli Hiva. This hook should be very strong. This is not inside Deli Hiva. So, underneath my leg, tucking the elbow across the neck. Controlling. Entry both sides, just blocking the inside the lever. This one, for whatever reason, he makes entry, and I, I couldn't get the hook. I'm already chambered in my left arm, so as he's trying to touch his knee to the ground, I'm coming right, right to uh, this position here. My head would be inside, but for the sake of uh, speaking, my head's out here. My head would be right here. Important note: No, I'm not here. If I'm here, he's just gonna yank it out. Boom, and he's got good position on me. I'm laying on top, top of my arm, 
my head would be inside and I'm in a strong position. From here, my left leg is gonna take dominant inside position. And my head would be in. So if he's trying to sit back up, I'm gonna just give him a knee in the butt, knock him up. Actually, uh, from this position, it's so strong. Once I make this grip, I can turn the side and start to hit the skate and bring him, bring him over here too. So it's a very strong position. It, it renders my uh, opponent, uh, his balance is going to be really off and it's going to be kind of floating on top of me. Very vulnerable there. So. I come right to this. Head's inside, and I'm holding his knee to my chest. I cannot let the knees just separate. And I don't want to have to reach over there to grab it, because then if I do, it's exposing what he needs to control me. So I'm going to put my foot, this foot inside, and I can push the knee down when I'm doing that. And I come here. Now I got this leg's kind of free. If I want to go after the sweep to my left, Stick it out and pivot skate towards my foot. From here, you make a additional hook. Come on. Time he comes in. I go straight for the half guard. Come in here. If he's sitting up, I'll give him the knee and come after, after his legs to bring him down. So when he makes, when Fadazar when, uh, makes the entry, I slip the knee. So if he's it's, it's coming in tight, I can't come here. I gotta enter the back door. I'm not gonna enter the Z guard with that arm in the way. I'm going here. And I'm, I have to beware. This arm is always vulnerable if I let him get it. So I'm framing and I'm keeping it away. If he does, if you got, if you get caught slipping and don't keep it away, use your head. I reach out, I get up, use him to free up my hips and come out. One more time, coming in. I enter the back door. I'm wary of this arm, aware. So I'm framing across the neck. I know I can't let him get it, but if in the event that he does, I use my head, rip it, use that to. So you're gonna have to put your arm up here anyway to pump yourself up. You're not gonna be able to get up here because the pressure. I put my arm out, free up, come back for triangle or just bail out. Here, he's making his entry. I come in, ram the knee through the back door, framing, heighten the arm, get up to your elbow, free. For high guard and try with that. We'll go ahead with the next one. This one will go right along these same lines. He comes in and he he gets everything. He starts to pull my arm. I clamped onto his leg, and he has everything he wants. So I'm already clamping onto his his collar here. So as he starts to pull my arm up here and he busts through, I'm just getting up. Getting into the collar, turning away, and getting up. This is my last ditch. This is the one you don't want to rely on, but it's not lost yet. There are some guys that are very good at this one right here. So he comes in, gains everything he, he needs. I need to clamp onto his foot right here. And as he, just as he's breaking through, I time it right here. I turn away, zip on, and I get up. Stiff arming right into the neck, and I'm getting up onto my elbow, turning away. So here, so he comes in, he gets everything he needs. So right here, I know he's probably gonna bust through, so I'm already sitting my grip, and I know he's gonna pull my arm up anyway, right here. So as he's coming through, I open, stiff arm, and get up, and come back. So he hits that cut across, and we defend just like we did yesterday. I try to throw in that inside del heva, and I push him away just so I can get my knee in across his hip. All right. 
So yesterday we, we, we built up and, and we got the only escape that way. But today we're just going to keep a frame in here. And uh, my bottom leg is going to hook his thigh. So I just straighten out my leg. So this is the only thing holding him out and my frame. I, of course, keep the sleeve away from him because he gets the sleeve. It's, it's probably going to be a done deal. You have to do the technique you did yesterday. Put your head in and take it away from him. So uh, I'm going to uh, straighten out my leg and hook. All right, so my to toes are going to point down. All right. Uh, once I have that, I use my shin to push him away so my hips can get free. So I use this leg here to push him away and then whip my hips back to the other side. So I'm turning here. I use my shin to push him away. I keep that foot there and I'm just going to rotate all the way over. I can transfer to his sleeve. Go right into my belly. He's like knock him over. But let's just keep it simple. Just grab the sleeve and call our sleeve. <coughs> and right here in the belly. You'll have a lot of setups after. So, kind of use it when you push, use it like a pendulum to swing around. So, frame here. Inside Della Hiva slips in. I push him away, get my knee in, take my arm away from him. And now, this leg is going to straighten out and the hook is back. Toes pointed down. Right. Um, it doesn't feel uh, like there's any pressure on my knee, so. Just be careful here. I don't know if the guy on top starts walking forward. If you have bad knees, be careful. All right? Just kind of keep pressure. Try to keep your knee off the floor. Just use your shin to push him away. So push him away. My foot transfers to his hip, and I whip my leg around to get the heat back. So it's going to be fast. So let's do it. Go one time fast. Frame. Shin goes in. Hook. Here, push. I'm keeping him away the whole time. Now I just use my shin, whip in. Okay. There's a quick sweep here, right when you guys whip into it. Just it's like Baron Bellows. It's time to go. So, again, slow. Push him out. Move my shin in there. Keep my wrist away. <laughs> Hook his thigh, use my shin to push him away, and I go collar sleeve. Hold back, ready to go. Right. The sweep just pop this off, tuck it in, and then knock it over. Covered all aspects of your recovery from knee cut. So, when Balthazar is coming through, He's coming through. I'm always gonna hide, hide this arm. Right here. But if he gets, <laughs> if he is able to hit this pommel on me, and it would, it wouldn't matter, it wouldn't matter if I was framing or not. But if, uh, in this case, he gets the pommel on me. I'm gonna catch his foot. <coughs> I gotta catch his foot. I have to keep this arm. So uh, a recurring thing throughout all these recoveries where I'm always hiding. This arm. This arm right here. Not letting him get it. So I would keep, I would still, even with the pommel, sometimes they come in so fast you can't stop that pommel from happening. Or in this case, if I was framing and he, and he beats it by crushing it. So whenever this happens, you can't stop my hips from moving. I've caught his foot. That's what I say. It's essential that you guys train yourself to catch the foot. You have to catch the foot. This one right here, I'm going to come up. Coming up. So I'm just keeping his foot, and I'm coming almost belly, belly down, my butt in the air. And once I do this, it's easy for me to hide, hide uh, this arm underneath me. And he still can't, he still can't pull this leg out. Now, I, I would grip it right here, just to ensure that you know I, he can't move his knee away from me. So I'm gripping the outside of it. And I'm coming here to this position here. And of course, you guys, from this position, you have a lot of options. Uh, it's going to depend on what he does. I would just go ahead and knee him up and come up and, and reverse the position. But I'm putting myself back into a deep position 
it relies on me catching his leg and uh, getting, my, getting my hips mobile so I can't stay on the ground. Then he hits he hits the palm and I'm here. From here, I can get my, my foot's already in it. I've got my hand, put it underneath me. I try to go out here to the block it, there's my space. I put it underneath me, I can get back in here. I can get back to this position here. I just catch his leg. Just take him back over. Right. <coughs> Catch him, catch his foot. If uh, he starts to beat this and crush it, I'm gonna get up, hide my arm, this inside arm, hide it underneath, and shoot and stop. And from here, we bring him down, make the pass. All right. Oh, I got it. On oh, three, one, two, three. Okay, so first one uh, is going to be uh, inside deli. So comes in. Next one. Uh, next one. Leave, you make your pass. 